Good morning. I'm in Bali. I'm at this absolutely beautiful water lily lake in the middle of the village. The question I got asked yesterday was, how old was I when I started in property? Well, first, you don't ask a lady that. <laughs> and second, um, at time of recording, it was 10 years and three months ago. And just as you know, uh, it was pretty hard. Uh, first 18 months, I worked full time and at the same time, I also a, a, did the property business. I did at least 30 hours a week on top of a full-time job, which was very full on, as you can probably imagine. Then after 18 months, I, I kind of proved, if you like, myself, I, to myself, not to anyone else. Um, I bought seven houses and then I jumped out my day job. I raised 600,000 pounds. All right, sec so that was number one, 10 years, three months ago. Second highlight was uh, raising money, 6, 600,000 quid, which then allowed me to buy more properties to jump out my day job and I raised that money while I was still working. Third highlight then was when did I officially become a millionaire? Well three and a half years but before you get all super excited I was a millionaire paying myself £800 a month. Uh, why? Because you can't spend it twice and I was very interested in spending it on my properties and then and therefore you can't spend it twice, can you? Um, so I was a technical, and so this was a technical millionaire. This was a, if I got flattened on paper, my balance sheet and everything, you know, and everything was sold, I'd be a millionaire, fabulous. This was not, I had loads of cash in the bank. I didn't have lots of cash in the bank for quite a period of time. Next milestone was about just at the eight and a half years time I paid off my first house. Reason is that for the first eight and a half years I was buying, 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 going crazy, just buying more and more properties. Okay, so then I paid off my house, my first house, and now they're like bowling pins. I'm paying them off, paying them off, paying them off, paying them off. So really, what would you say? When did when did when did you become a millionaire? Three and a half years, but. It didn't mean much because I couldn't spend it because it was all in bricks and mortar. When did I leave my job? Year and a half. That meant quite a lot. Uh, when did I pay off houses? Eight and a half years. That meant quite a lot. Uh, when did I become financially free? I'd probably argue eight and a half years simply because, and you don't need to buy as many houses as I did, by the way. I just loved it and kept doing it. So I would probably say that by the time you, um, your rent pays your bills and you don't need to worry about it it's probably at the point for me anyway um, that I'm starting to pay houses off but that's just because I've got a certain tolerance to how much I owe the bank and how much I don't want to be um, run by banks so there you go there's a time frame for you I hope it's not more or less than you want uh, you can do it in a different time frame. I did it in this time frame primarily because I wanted to buy a shed load of houses. You don't need to, I just enjoy it. Uh, you could become financially free a lot quicker than that and you probably, millionaire? Yeah, probably. Although we, we were going some, you know, I was buying a fair amount. So good luck to you. I hope that time frame gives you yourself a time frame. But actually you could do, okay, let me give you some tips. You could do it a lot faster in terms of financial freedom, which I think is what most people want. You could increase your buy to sells. I kept an awful lot and therefore I was skinned all the time. So that would be the first job to do. Instead of like doing a couple of buy to sells, um, you could do half and half. That would definitely work for you. Uh, would I, if I did it again, what would I do? I'd jump out my day job a lot sooner because time is the game changer. So those are probably my two tips um, to improve on what I did so that you can do a better performance than me. Good luck. Bye-bye.